Hey everyone, welcome to San Clemente, California. It's that time of year again. What time of year is that? Flu season. So today we're gonna find out what people think, what Americans think, what Californians think about the flu vaccine. What are your thoughts on the flu vaccine? Okay, it helps, but sometimes people feel like it doesn't help, but I've always felt like it helps, and especially kids who need it, they need it, so. Um, I think it's a good idea for older people and for young kids. The flu vaccine, I won't get it. I think it might be good, might be bad, I don't know. I think uh, the sooner the better. Uh, I mean, I got my flu vaccine. I think it's important. Skeptical, I think it's, it should be an option. I was always against it. Uh, I took it last year for the first time and, and recovered a lot quicker, I thought, so I would do it again. I don't normally get the flu vaccine. Um, I don't have a lot of confidence in what they're actually putting in those vaccines. I think it's a good idea. Do you get it every year? Yes. And why do you think it's important, or why do you get it? Um, <laughs> because it's, uh, I don't know, just to a, a build up your immune system. I mean, my whole family are nurses and doctors, so that's why we get it. I do, and it's my choice, but people feel like it's a bad choice, but I think it's a good choice. I mean, it's your own choice. No, I don't get it. And why not? Um, I have a pretty good immune system, and I just don't feel it's necessary for myself. No, and I deal with people with flu all the time. I work for the fire department, um, but I will, no. Every time I get it, I feel like woozy and sick the next day. So personally, it's just not for me. Uh, I used to until this COVID thing started. i skeptical about it. What are your thoughts on the flu vaccine? Is that something you get every year? It is not. And why not? Uh, last time I got the flu was when I had the vaccine, so. Uh, I get my flu shot, yeah. I haven't had influenza in over 30 years. I mean, I haven't had, I just, I'm beside myself with the whole thing. I don't know whether to, who to believe or what to believe. Every year. And why do you get it? Because about 15 years ago, I got a really bad flu where I was sick for four or five days, like the sickest I've ever been. And I said, okay, I don't want to do that again. So I get a shot every year. Do you think our medical experts are honest with us about the side effects and potential risks with the flu vaccine? Uh, you know, I think there's probably a lot who are, but I, probably the ones that are on TV and represented by the government, I tend not to trust them. Yeah, there's the list, but I gotta say, because most people just kind of flip through it to just get to the uh, flu shot. Do you think people are warned about the side effects and risks about it at the time that they get it? I do not, no. And why do you think that's not given to them? Uh, I think potentially it all has something to do with back end money. Oh, I took a flu vaccine once. Yeah, I did get sick actually. Pretty well informed over for Johnson & Johnson. So uh, we're actually developing the COVID vaccine. So I know that the risks that go along with it. Uh, probably not as much as we would like to know. Like, did you know that people can be paralyzed or have brain inflammation or even die after the flu vaccine? No, but see, that's another reason I want to get it. <laughs> so you give me one more reason to not. <laughs> so. uh, yeah, the, you could come up with the flu or you could, you know, come down with a little cold or something. <laughs> did they ever tell you that you could be paralyzed or have brain inflammation or even death? No, they have not. <laughs> Have you heard anything about the fact that you can become paralyzed or have yeah. brain inflammation? Yeah, I have. And so for you, the idea of getting the flu is more scary than those possible side effects? Um, I guess, yeah. Well, my doctor talked about it and then I, I looked at the uh, results when I was sick and down for two weeks versus getting it and not being as sick. So um, I'm for it regardless. Yeah. What do they tell you? I don't listen. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not getting the flu again. Do you think the government should be able to make it mandatory? No. <laughs> not unless they're going to disclose exactly what's in it and we can go to our own doctors maybe. And But no, in general, I think, no, that'd be a terrible offense. I mean, I'd feel violated. No, oh, heck no. No, this is America. You have, a, you have a choice to take it or you don't. There should be no mandates. No, it's your choice. I, I, I don't know. I just make my own decisions in spite of the government. I think it should be that person, you know, if they, if they feel that they got to have, you know, the vaccine, then by all means, but well, me, no. 
Thank you guys for joining us on this episode of The People's Voice here in San Clemente, California, where we found out some people get the flu vaccine, some people don't, and some people know about the side effects and some people don't. So clearly we have a lot more education to do. Join us next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm very serious and professional, ready? Okay.